This set of five objects comes from the um, elaborately decorated grip, the hilt of a large fighting knife or hunting knife known as a seax. It's manufactured from gold, about 80 grams of gold, inlaid with garnet cloisonne decoration. Both geometric cloisonne forms as well as very intricate animal art decoration. The animal art in particular indicates a date in the first half of the 7th century. We can be certain this is a set not only on the basis of the related decoration, but also on account of the precise fit of these three fittings. And lastly, because scratched on the top of this cap fitting is the outline of the pommel. From the bottom of the grip comes this broader collar. The bottom shows the slot for the knife blade and either side of the slot are the abrasion marks left from the blade. The two collar fittings have bands of animal art decorating them. This example illustrates perfectly the very high quality of the manufacture. Slightly different coloured garnets have actually been used for the different parts of the animals. So the bodies of the animals have lighter pinkish garnets and the limbs and heads of the animals have redder garnets. Also of note are the tiny eyes of the little creatures, tiny beads of glass, no more than a millimetre in diameter. Each of the cells is also set with a gold foil, a gold pattern foil that sits behind the garnet and would have acted to reflect the light back through the stone. The Seax knife represented by these fittings serves to tell us about the people at the very top of Anglo-Saxon society. The sophistication and excellence of the manufacture show that they came from no ordinary knife but rather a, a princely artefact designed to show the wealth and the status of the individual. Watch out for more films in this series. In September, a special issue of History West Midlands explores the fascinating story of Anglo-Saxon Mercia and the Horde. Subscribe now and register for our free newsletter. In October, a new permanent gallery opens at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. The Staffordshire Hoard is owned jointly by Birmingham City Council and Stoke-on-Trent City Council.